Hello, I'm Wayne Barron from Dark Effects TV here to bring you another exciting tutorial. Today we are going to import a tab delimented file into an access database and format the number column to accept leading zeros into the field. Why do we import data into our database? There are many reasons for doing imports, but the main one is simply put time saver. So you have thousands or even hundreds of thousands of records stored in an Excel or a text file. This information can be easily imported into your database with just a few simple clicks of the mouse. Check out our other video for importing data into Excel to understand that part of this lesson. Alright, let's go ahead and get started. <clears throat> what we're going to do here is we're going to import a um, data file, which is a text file, and it is, uh, we've already imported this file into Excel, and then we outported it uh, after doing some edits into a text file as a tabbed delimented file. So what we're going to do now is that we're going to import this information into our table, which is our zip table. First, let's take a look at our zip table to find out exactly how we've got it set up. We've got our zip ID, which is an auto number, our zip field, which is a number field, and then our city, state, and county, which is all text fields. And so what we're going to do is that we are going, well, let's jump back over here right quick. Inside of our zip field, okay, we're going to get rid of this so that I can show you something. Let's save that, show you something after we do our import. So to import data into um, Access, this is in Access 2010, and uh, so uh, please read your documentation for 2007, 2003, and 2000. Uh, so let's right click and choose Import, and then Text File. I click on Browse, and on our desktop we have our zip.txt. So we're going to open it up, and then we're going to check append a copy of the records to this table and our table that we're going to choose since it is the only table that we have here is our zip table if you've got more tables then you will have the them tables also listed inside the drop down menu but in this case we only have one table so that's all that is displayed so let's click ok and then let's make sure that delimented is selected up here which simply means characters such as comma and tab separate each field Let's click on next. Make sure that tab is chosen or semicolon, comma, space, or other. And in this case, we have our zip, city, state, and county as our first row. And so we're going to click that, which lists everything up top for our table rows. So let's click on next. And it lets us know that we're going to import this table into our zip table. And if you want the wizard to analyze the table after it's done, you can check right here. And I know there's going to be an error, at least I think there's going to be an error on one of the rows, so I'm not really going to concern myself with that. So we are going to witness an error here as well. So let's go ahead and click on finish. takes you a couple of seconds to do this. We're going to be importing over 70,000 records. And so this does take just a little while to do. And it has finished importing the data and it says that not all data was successfully imported. That was one error. And so I'm just going to go ahead and keep this as an error. So save, import, Okay. The name import already exists. Enter. Let's give it another name here. Sorry about that. Alright. This is just letting us know that on row 7870 that there was an error in the zip field line. So I just have to go back and check that later on. But that's not what we're worried about here. So let's uh, go ahead and check out our zip table. 
Now, as you can see here, the beginning of our zip table, um, of our zip field, we are missing the double zeros that's at the beginning of the zip code. So we, in order to get the double zeros back, we need to right click, go into design view, and then on our zip column, inside the format, type in five zeros. One, two, three, four, five. Now, save it. And then right click and choose data sheet view. And there we go. We've got our leading double zeros in our zip field. And so that's it. All the thing you got to do to make sure that you got your leading uh, zeros is inside of your um, your number column. Make sure that the format has the five zeros in it. This is for zip code. The five zeros. And then you should be good to go. So. Hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. Once again, this is Wayne Barron, Dark Effects TV. Hope that y'all have a rocking um, rest of the week and a rocking weekend. Thank you for watching, and please subscribe.